during our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk a little bit about how farmers are reducing erosion. And before we get into that, I just want to tell you some good news. If you compare today versus, say, the 1930s, you remember, well, you probably don't remember the Dust Bowl, but you've read about the Dust Bowl, you've heard about the Dust Bowl, and the Depression era on farms in the United States, it was a bad deal. Well, farmers have dramatically reduced erosion since 80 some years ago now. So it's awesome. We want to tell you about some of the good things that are happening on farms today. Well, thanks to herbicides and herbicide tolerant crops, farmers have been able to greatly reduce the amount of tillage that's been done on their farms. And when we think about what was happening in the 30s, they didn't have weed control options other than to run out there and do tillage out in their fields. Now they can use herbicides to control the weeds and they don't have to till all the time. So no-till practices are becoming more common in some areas of the country. Reduced tillage options like strip till and, and minimum till are becoming more popular as well. The other thing to go along with it, yeah, not only do we have herbicides today, but we also have a lot better equipment. We have equipment that can go into fields that have all this residue, and they can plant the seed nicely, they can space things evenly, get it to the right depth. It's awesome compared to what those farmers had to deal with almost a century ago. So you look at those changes, yes, we can now, as farmers, effectively do no-till or strip-till, and when you reduce tillage, you dramatically reduce erosion. Now when you think about those big machines running through fields, you think, well, wait a second, aren't they compacting the soil or, or pressing down on the soil? And you know what? Soil compaction is one of those things that could lead to more erosion. If you've got a lot of compaction in a field, like we used to have back in the 1930s when they were doing tillage operations just over and over and over again trying to keep the weeds out, we ended up with a lot of compacted areas out in fields. So the water could only soak in to a point and then after that it would just start running off on the soil surface and we would see some soil erosion that way when we get heavy rains. Now, as we mentioned, we've got a lot better equipment. We've got things like tracks. We've also got different types of tires. Farmers are running with lower air pressure, all these kinds of things that is leading to dramatically less soil compaction out in fields, which is allowing water to move down through the soil much more easily. Well, the other big thing with it is doing a better job with fertility. We have soil testing now, modern soil testing, so we can determine how much calcium do we actually have in the soil? What level of other nutrients do we have there? If we have the right balance of nutrients, we're gonna have a more porous soil, and that means better water infiltration, less compaction, and overall less erosion. And speaking of water infiltration into the soil, one of the big things that's helped farmers over the last couple of generations now in America has been the improvements in subsurface drainage. Now farmers have easy to use plastic tiles made out of recycled plastic in many cases that has perforations in it to allow water to come in. And farmers are able to control that water table a little more so they can ensure when they do get those rains, they're gonna soak in instead of just running off. Most of the studies that have been done over the years have shown 40 to 60 percent erosion reduction when a field is tiled compared to when it's not tiled. The reason why is if the water table is lower to even say three feet, the three to four foot depth is where tile is most commonly placed. Okay, if the water table is just lower to that point, then what that means is when rain does fall, it can absolutely go into the soil instead of having a full water profile and that water has to run off the field. When the water runs off the field, not only does it carry soil with it, it also could potentially carry pesticides and fertilizer. So reducing the runoff is tremendously huge. And this is one of the reasons why we say tiling is one of the best things a farmer could possibly do for the environment. And it's one of the best things he can do to reduce erosion. Farmers have been focused on reducing erosion on their farms. They're also focused on reducing weed pressure from weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 